Alright, this video actually for my Math student, but I decided to share it to my YouTube so that it can benefit uh, my other students as well. Alright, so here the question my student asked me, how to find the CDF? CDF here is the cumulative distribution function from PDF, which is the um, probability density function. Okay, so I will give them a shortcut for CDF. So CDF over here, I will just call it capital FX and the PDF, I will just say small letter FX. So actually we have a formula can help us to get the cumulative density function, uh, cumulative distribution function, which is CDF. Uh, the formula is like this. In order to get a capital FX, uh, which is CDF, we need to integrate um, our PDF. We need to integrate the PDF, which is small fx dx. However, the um, the things over here you need to know is uh, the definites here. We need to from the a. A basically is the, later you will see the interval, right? So a basically is the uh, minimum interval, so which is 1, or you can call it um, maybe the lower limits. Okay, so from a to x, okay, this is how you want to get the function. Yeah, I believe some reference book, they might say something like this, a to x, but this one must be ftdt. Also can, depend what is your function here. But obviously you can see my function here always in term of x, so I will just use the first one. Okay, so let's have a look at the first question. So they tell us the PDF is basically um, x power negative 2, defined on this interval. Yeah, if you learn about the probability density function, you should know this interval when you plug into the uh, fx equation will always give you the area is 1 because this is how we define it is the PDF. So over here, if I want to get cumulative uh, density function, obviously I will start from 1, but I will not go up all the way to the uh, maximum here. Why? Because if I from 1 to the infinity here, my area, I will get back to 1, which is, which is not what I want. Okay, so in fact, for the CDF, the area will always uh, more than 1. Okay, so this is how we do. So in order to get the CDF, CD, CDF, comma, capital FX. So I will just integrate the x power of negative 2, dx, from a, which is my minimum value here, 1, to the x. So we just do a simple integration here. This one should be x power neg uh, plus 1, right? Negative 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1 over x, from 1 to x. So if I want to solve this one, I will just substitute x into the x. Huh? Okay, it's kind of weird, but yeah, this is how you do. This is 1 over x minus, sub the 1 into here, is this is 1, negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. Yeah, then I will get them. I will get my final equation, uh, which is positive one, right? So one minus one over x. So this one is the is the is my equation for my uh, CDF. Okay, let's have a look. Um, one more question, one more example, so that you can understand how to do. So over here they tell tell me the PDF is this value, from negative ln one point two to ln five. This is the interval. So remember, this one is always my a value, and I can if I sub ln five into the integration later, I will actually always get one. So, but this is not what I want. Okay, so I want to get CDF. So, capital F X, I will just integrate uh, from a, which is negative ln one point two, to x for my e negative x dx. So. Um, over here, we just integrate um, the e negative x, which is negative e negative x, right? Then from negative ln 1.2 to x here. Then I sub in the x, I should get back exactly the same thing. Minus, I sub in this number, negative e. Negative, negative, sub into here, I get positive ln 1.2. Alright, and then because ln, uh, e power of ln 1.2 is just 1.2, right? So this one is negative e negative x plus uh, 1.2 but normally I don't like to write negative at the first place now will simplify is 1.2 minus e negative x so this one is my capital fx which is my cdf all right so if the question gives you the pdf you want to get cdf always remember about 
this formula, then you should be able to e uh, get the CDF easily. All right, I hope this video benefit whoever student uh, want to get the CDF equation, I mean CDF function. All right, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.